Um, um, so we're talking about um, the tagging process by the building department currently? Yeah, um, so I think that maybe one of the, one of, you know, the city's priority right now, like there's so many people that are displaced because of the storm and they've kind of got people into different categories. So there's, you know, people who are displaced right now just because they don't have power and hot water and plumbing. So their priority is really to get those people home so that they, you know, so that the numbers for total interim housing are reduced. And I, I'm not sure that, um, you know, like mold, it, like it, I'm not sure that this kind of issue is 100% on the radar yet, and that maybe, you know, as Matt was saying, like some people might be going home that shouldn't be going home yet. So the concern is, um, and this building here, this is green tag, right? This is green tag. Okay, so this so. is, um, you know, it says specifically on the sign, it says this building has been inspected for structural safety. But, I mean, I think the message that goes out by a big green tag yeah. is go, okay, right? right. Even the city's messaging has been a bit confused in that, um, saying that buildings are rehabitable with, with the green tag. And obviously, um, you start to worry about environmental and health concerns and actual yeah. livability of the building. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that they are, they are working on putting out those alerts. Like, I was talking to someone who's actually working on, in basements, like, getting alerts out about this sort of thing. I just don't think it's actually reached the public yet, so... As of right now, there's probably people walking through the building. And who is that? Is that the government or is that um, um, just, There's agencies? a couple of different environmental agencies that are working mm -hmm. on that. Yeah. So like my, and I think that residents themselves don't um, necessarily understand the, the extent of the problem. Like my neighbor, the Ruizes, um, they've lived here for 37 years um, and we were helping them sort of rip up their flooring and clean out their apartment, ripped out their kitchen and stuff on over the past weekend. And they were sort of moving their furniture around for us to do this work and like, you know, all their like trinkets they didn't like box up, they're just sort of sitting on shelves still. And so they're like, so their idea is like, they can still live here in three months, they just gotta like, you know, mop it down. Right. Um, and I think that that's sort of the, um, that's the sentiment shared a lot too, is that people just aren't aware of the, of the larger concerns and the amount of work that needs to 